When you think of laptops, you would imagine they're largely made of three types of materials. A variety of metals, a good polycarbonate finish and a lot of glass. You would also imagine perhaps, and again rightly so, that putting carbon fiber on a laptop is perhaps stretching the boundaries of innovation. A few laptop makers have done that to good effect. But that is till you get your eyes on this one. This is the HP Spectre Folio. And what you see here all round is leather. Really high quality leather. And to be very honest, this frankly looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is perhaps the most different laptop that we've seen in a while. And the best part is, it's not even a laptop, it's a convertible. This is absolutely not like any other laptop that you may have seen, ever. The way the HP Spectre Folio is designed, it is wrapped in a rather luxurious layer of pure leather. As the name Spectre Folio perhaps suggests, the very look of this laptop when it's folded away is like that of an actual folio. You remember the ones you probably used before everything went digital? The good thing is your fingers are interacting with this high quality leather most of the time. And that really adds to the experience. Perhaps that's what you'll remember every time you look at your bank account. The cognac brown leather looks good. It just gets it spot on in terms of the fit, finish, the texture and the color. To break the monotony in design, HP has gone with the dual stitching element at either end of the lid. Though the stitching ends abruptly, I actually wouldn't mind it running the entire length. And if it were to be a stitching of bright red thread, that would be really awesome, wouldn't it? Somehow, I have a feeling that a lighter shade of leather would maybe have contrasted better with the black keyboard and display modules. At this point in a laptop review, we usually open the lid to tell you how amazing that particular machine is. In this case, you have to be a little more careful. The U opening mechanism is not exactly conventional. First of all, your finger is interacting with leather and you're very close to the display panel itself. Now, when you want to switch from the laptop mode to something, perhaps a tablet mode, you have to be very careful about this movement. This is what I'm talking about. Now, you can either put it like this into a tablet mode or you can put this in a tent mode if you want to view something. The interesting bit here is, there is a SIM card slot hidden behind the display. This makes it the LTE spec version of the Spectre Folio. You can put in a SIM card here and as you're moving around, you don't need to worry about connecting to a Wi-Fi network. You will notice that the display module itself is very thin and you will in many ways be putting pressure on it while entering and exiting the tablet mode. The display hinge itself is also under a lot of stress, so be careful. That said, the Spectre Folio is an amazingly thin laptop and this is perhaps the strongest foundation making it relevant for travelers and serious corporate folk alike. On the inside too, there are no compromises in terms of performance. An Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 GB super fast solid state drive. And yet, this has a fanless design which makes it whisper silent to use. We did not notice any heat being transferred through the leather onto our lap even after a prolonged period of usage. The keyboard is a delight to use with good key spacing and size even though the footprint of the laptop itself is quite compact. There are three USB-C ports which means you'll probably be relying on dongles most of the time if peripherals are to be connected. There's a 3.5mm headphone jack too. Dressed in leather, swanky looks, great performance and this now also has LT connectivity to make your life a little easier. So there you go, one package that takes off the looks and the performance part. You can expect this sort of extravagance from something which is luxurious and costs a lot of money. Well, you can buy one of these for just under 2 lakh rupees if your bank account supports it. Mine doesn't, well, what can one do? In the meantime, I can simply admire this till it goes away.